Whether you're an experienced contractor or a do-it-yourselfer, building a Discovery Dream Homes log package is a relatively simple process. It might not go quite this fast, but one of our log shells can usually be built in just a few days. By following a few common sense guidelines, erecting one of our log homes can be a very rewarding and fun experience. Before setting the first course of logs, make sure your subfloor measurements are accurate and square. Regardless of the type of subfloor or foundation that supports the log shell, the first course of logs should be mounted on a standard sill gasket. Each log will have a unique number and letter code printed on either end. This code is always read from the outside looking in and starting from the left. The first number represents the wall location. The second number represents the specific log course and the letter represents the log order from the left side. Wall numbers and locations are marked clearly on the blueprints provided with the materials package. Our talented team of designers and technicians carefully ensure that each log is perfect. From concept to design to production in our shop, nothing is left to chance. All our logs and timbers are custom cut with our state-of-the-art computer programming and machinery. You're now ready to lay the first course of logs. The first wall is always composed of a half course, that is, the logs are cut in half. If they mount directly to a frame subfloor, secure them with fasteners that are provided with the materials package. Mounting directly to a concrete foundation wall, drill holes in the logs and secure them with standard anchor bolts. Our longest timbers are 16 feet long. Any walls longer than 16 feet will feature our unique timber lock. With the help of gravity and engineering, the self-tightening joint secures two lengths of logs together into a nearly seamless, single timber. No complicated splines or joinery to slow you down. And in just a few seconds, you're ready to move on to the next course of logs. Each corner dovetail requires a foam gasket. The gasket should be combined with caulking to create a triple seal, a continuous air and watertight barrier. So the key is uh, bring this out nice to the edge. You don't want it over or it'll, it'll uh, roll over and then you can't get tight and you don't want to leave it back. Once the caulking and gaskets are in place, you're ready to lay the next course of logs. When the log is set properly, use one of the fasteners we provide to fully secure the timbers. Screw in at an angle, keeping the screw perpendicular to the dovetail, and countersink slightly to allow for log settling. Whether it's a full course or a half course timber lock, the joints also have to be caulked to create a good seal. It's important to utilize the foam gaskets and caulking around the entire perimeter of the log shell. Properly installed, these elements help create an airtight seal that will contribute to lower heating and cooling costs and prevent drafts. Our logs have a double tongue and groove configuration. To seal the tongues, we provide a butyl gasket that has a paper backing that you peel off just before the next course is put in place. The log groove has a single foam gasket that also has paper backing that needs to be peeled off. You will generate a considerable amount of paper waste Keep the site clean and free of this debris to avoid any tripping hazards. At each corner we pre-drill a hole from the top course to the bottom course. We provide expandable spray foam that should be used in every course as the log walls are built up. 
This helps to completely seal our corner dovetails. Because it's expanding foam, you only need to fill the hole about halfway up. The various foam and butyl gaskets and caulking help create a truly air and watertight seal. There should be no spaces or gaps anywhere in the log courses without sealants and gaskets. If you follow one log to the next, make sure there is a continuous seal between every course. If possible, it's a great idea to stack the logs on the subfloor and keep them relatively organized. Shorter pieces can be stacked vertically to conserve space and for ease of access. Try to keep all the logs near to where they will be placed on the wall. Our timber locks are very precise and tightly milled. On occasion you may have to pound a log down slightly with a hammer. Always use a sacrificial block or a piece of scrap lumber to avoid damaging the logs. All our logs are pre-drilled and pre-routed for electrical outlets, wiring and light switches, which saves a great deal of time on site. Our log walls can easily be erected by hand, but as the walls rise it gets a bit more difficult and heavy to lift the logs. It's a good idea to have sturdy ladders and scaffolding on hand to work at varying heights. As you approach the top courses, use a few extra pairs of hands to help erect the longer logs. You're up quite high and the logs can be heavy and awkward to maneuver. Working as a team helps the project go faster and more safely. We have taken through rod technology to the next level. We pre-drill holes every 60 inches and 12 inches at either sides of the corners, doors and windows. On the top course logs we pre-router for through bolt plates and springs. We also eliminate the top course tongues and grooves to help create a truly flat log surface with no impediments for trusses or beams. To cut through rods to the right length, measure from the top of the highest log to the top of the through rod hole at the bottom course. Mark the rod, cut with bolt cutters, wind the plate to the end, and drop into the through hole. Tighten the through bolt until the log wall is well set in place. Every few days during the course of construction, tighten the through bolts as the logs will settle as more weight is added to the structure. When the final finishing is nearly complete, and before baseboards are installed, Tighten the through bolts one last time. If you choose our optional compression spring system, tighten the nut and bolt until the high density rubber compresses two inches below the top of the log. We provide kiln dried hardwood dowels for every door and window opening. Because there will be some minor settling and seasonal shifting of the logs, we require that you secure doors and windows to the dowels and not to the logs. Recess the dowels an inch or two into the holes to allow for log settling. We machine cut each door and window opening, but for stability we only scribe the top and bottom courses when a window opening takes up more than 50% of the log surface. Once the walls are fully erected and secured by through bolts, you can then cut the opening to the appropriate size. We hope that building your Discovery Dream Homes log package is a rewarding experience. We look forward to hearing about your project's progress and our staff is always available if you have any questions or concerns. And where possible we supply a consultant on the job site to help you get started. Call us toll free at 1-866-395-5647 or visit us on the web at discoverydreamhomes.com.